This is Hedwig UI, which shows one of the Hedwig cluster installations that spans across multiple data centers. This Hedwig UI has two main tabs, one cluster watch and the second one virtual list management. Let's start with cluster watch. This cluster spans across three data centers, SNC1, SNC2, and SNC3. Each data center has three storage nodes attached to them. So in total, there are nine storage nodes in this cluster. You can also see the cluster size and the use space. You can also click on any one of these storage nodes and visualize all the physical disks that exist in that particular storage node. You can also click on any one of these storage proxies and look at all the virtual disks that are assigned to this particular storage proxy. You can also visualize all the IO matrix corresponding to each and every one of these virtual disks. Now let's move on to virtual disk management. Here you can see all the virtual disks that are created in this Hedwig cluster. To create a new virtual disk, you click on add disk, give this disk a name, give it a size, select what kind of disk you want to create, whether it's block or NFS. For object storage, you can utilize any of the standard APIs such as S3 CLI to consume Hedwig as object storage. And then you have a lot of optional policies that you can select for this virtual disk. You can select deduplication for this virtual disk, which means all blocks of data corresponding to this virtual disk will be globally deduplicated across the entire Hedwig cluster. You can also enable encryption for this virtual disk and Hedwig will make sure your data is encrypted in flight, in use, and at rest as well. Then there are certain policies that you can select for enhancing the performance of this virtual disk. One of them is residence. You can have combination of hard disk and flash in your storage nodes, and you can select residence as flash if you want all of your data corresponding to this virtual disk to do reside in flash devices instead of hard disk. So that's one option you can select at per virtual disk level. And then there is client-side caching. Hedwig can utilize flash device in your compute instances to store data as well as metadata and enable your applications to run at the speed of local flash devices. Then there is replication policy and replication factor. For data production, there are different replication policies that Hedwig provides, agnostic, data center aware, and rack aware. When you select agnostic, Hedwig will make sure different copies of your data are stored in different storage nodes based on capacity of the entire cluster. You can also select data center aware and Hedwig will make sure blocks of your data are replicated across storage nodes in different data centers and you are protected even if the entire data center goes down. The third option is rack aware and Hedwig will make copies of your data across different racks and prevent you from rack failures as well. Now let's select data center aware policy for this virtual disk and I will select all the data centers in this cluster so that copies of my data exist in each and every data center and then click run. Next step in consuming this newly created virtual disk is to add a LUN you can select any one of these storage proxies based on where you want your application to run. And once you have done that, that particular storage proxy will start acting as an iSCSI target for this virtual disk. And then you can provide access to the client where you want your application to run. And once you have done that, this virtual disk will show up as an iSCSI device and you can start consuming it as a local disk. Now let's go over similar steps for creating a new NFS disk. Give it a name, a size, select disk type as NFS, and then you need to add export using one or more of Hedwig storage proxies. And once you have done that, those storage proxies will start acting as NFS servers 
for this new test. So this is it for the demo.